What is good, everybody? I'm Kirby One, and welcome to a different kind of set of videos today. Can't remember the last time I said that. A little different kind of videos. Oh, it's probably my Pokemon video. Um, yeah, a little bit of a different kind of video today. I don't know uh, how much you guys know about this YouTuber named Markiplier. But uh, he released a new YouTube original series that kind of uh, falls in line with a series he's released in the past, like uh, in Heist, uh, Heist with Markiplier, and um, builds upon kind of his world, I guess you could say. Builds upon what he's uh, built and like characters that he uh, created. Um, so just on i guess this will be just the monday of this week so this month this past monday he released part two with in space mark player and he released part one all the way back in april um kind of at the beginning of the month i think it was april 4th maybe or something whatever the first monday in april was anyways um and so now with part two coming out and with north guard just finishing up i was like uh hey why not do this because he says he says he said on a live stream i think there that feel free to like watch it and share it and promote it for him or not that my reach is huge or anything but he said like go at it have fun you can watch it and talk about it and that is exactly what we are going to do today so yeah i'm going to be like pausing all over this going frame by frame in some areas because there's glitches i saw the premiere of this very first video um but i haven't gotten any further into part two yet um and like i said i done all part one so if you haven't done part one go check it out um you should um it's a very fun series anyways um but yeah it's basically like a choose your own adventure so it kind of falls into falls into games so um that's what we're doing for the foreseeable future i don't think this will be super long but uh that's what we're going to uh do so yeah like i said if you uh don't want to be you know pausing and someone else talking over it you can go and watch it for yourself that's just as good and probably more supportive to mark plier than you watching it here but if you want a little bit added discussion about what's going on then uh you can stay along for the ride one thing that i will note um is what what was i gonna say i just had it now it's gone well shit i don't know but uh okay well i freaking really don't know um, we're just gonna start off, I guess. Damn. <laughs> Damn, what was I gonna say? Um, guess if it comes back to me, I will talk about it. Um, and that, I guess maybe the only thing, maybe this is what I remembered, is I haven't seen anything, like any spoilers for it either, in part two or nothing. Okay, that's cool. We're uh, going to start at the beginning, I guess. Oh, no, we're going to start in the middle here. So what we're going to do, first of all, is just review the last uh, three endings of In Space Part 1. Um, and we'll start off with the most, I, not the main ending, because, I mean, it's like time lapse and or time loops and multiverses and shit. So, like, people have discussed, like, what is the canon ending or whatever and it's just like well if it's all messed up by wormholes and time loops and multiverses then they are all they're all simultaneously canon and not canon all at the same time but i just think this well this ending was the like most common ending that you would get playing uh playing through uh in space part one this ending here with uh I don't know how loud this needs to be for you guys and to also hear me. 
but with uh, he's going to pop up in a second here. Old old man Mark Summers here, and I don't know why it is in Spanish subtitles. Yes. Okay. Where is my settings? Here we go. What have you done is fall right into my mm -hmm. uh, Just in case you missed something, you know, it's nice to have the subtitles on. So yeah, so basically this comes at the end of doing a bunch of like time loops and shit. Um, and jumping through the wormhole a bunch of times. And so I think I broke something. Oh, oh please. Oh please help me. I need help desperately. Friend of mine. So close. What led us to this point was basically we just fell through the wormhole one last time and then we ended up in this. We ended up going through this door. And this is what led us to this point. So it's really seems like some time in the far future. Because Mark is old. But us as the character, just it was like a matter of seconds of falling through the wormhole. Whatever you do, do not do it! Captain, I can't let you win. This is the final confrontation. Good versus evil. The hero versus the villain. Justice will prevail this day! First, think so? I need to test out the Event Horizon protocol. The hand. And it gets exploded. But really, I think it just, for whatever reason, it just explodes us. Just like knocks us out. This is the only way to be sure. The only Until way to truly fix our the device gets broken in this oh, yeah. event. Sorry about that. And then. I'm sorry about a lot of things. We're not, I'm not quite sure what the device in the center of the room is here yet. Only one more thing left to try. It's kind of... Be advised, designated location outside known universe. I know. Mm-hmm. That's the point. It's got some... Could have unforeseen consequences. Mystical power or something. It was shown to us like when we first started doing this wormhole business. So not quite sure what it is, but obviously it has something to do with all this multiverse bullshit. I did. I did. I did. Oh then you know what else? I forgive you. No hard feelings, eh? Suffering that you caused. I forgive you! It's all in the past, or the future, or um, uh, that that will never be because I beat you. <laughs> Everyone can pilot go live their infinite lives in peace. I beat says, you. I beat you <laughs> but here it says I beat him. But it's just auto-generated, so it uh, might be. I bet you're confused, aren't you? Huh? Or maybe you're disappointed that you don't get to destroy oh, the it's universe. Like it doesn't matter. All in Spanish matter, to English. You will no longer. Rampage. It's so weird, why is it? <laughs> Anyways, that's just a nothing note. That can't be good. Paradox detected. Uh, yeah, I know, that's why we're here. That is why are you here? I thought I muted this thing. Wouldn't shut up about paradoxes. Warning, universal stability compromised. Attempting to resolve. Probably just tying up some loose ends. No, 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 no. What have you done? She's been trying to stop us the whole time throughout part one. But you keep getting away somehow. Unable to resolve. Paradox detected. You? You did this? It was you? Lady, you're gonna have to be more specific. I've done a lot of things. Infinite paradox detected. Universal collapse imminent. Turn it off. 
You have to shut it down. You have to. Oh, uh, well, maybe that's not the worst idea in the world. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, you don't get to blow up. I'm the one that blows things up. Oh, you think you're better than me? You don't get to yeah, and then everything just gets broken. And we get a bunch of these scenes glitched out. Um, these are all, if you haven't seen it, these are all like scenes that have uh, happened in, uh, in space with Mark Player, except now what I know from seeing the part two premiere is that this scene is from part two. That looks like our weapons expert dude. Um, he's been in multiplayer production before, but seeing this now, they know, I know this is going to be in part two. I'm seeing the premiere of part two. So there's some, some stuff that wasn't uh, some like Easter egg stuff or uh, foreshadowing stuff. That uh, hasn't been shown yet. Just wondering if there's anything in these big glitches. Or if it's just a mess. This one looks like just a mess. Can't make out anything really there. Just this image distorted. Looks like. Okay, there's one there. Frame by frame. We'll get to this moment in a second here, because I've played another ending. This is probably from part two somewhere as well. Uh, I don't really know what's going on here. Mark is in some six shades, I guess. <clears throat> is there anything in that one? Just distorted. It's just distorted. Yeah. Just distorted. Okay, and there was that. Go Tyler here after you though. Character's name was Doreen. Okay, we don't get a lot here. Oh, here we go, that's better. Looks like some secret agents dudes running around an office. Which possibly will get revealed in part two. Because that never happened in part one. Nothing there really. Laughing. This looks like the same agent dudes that are again in this, like, you know, look like some sort of secret service, some sort of maybe governmental body that's inspecting the wormhole shit. Um, but don't really know. Hopefully, more will be revealed in part two. That we get to here shortly, I'm sure. And then there's this final image, and then I think it ends uh, with everyone's eyes being scratched out. And then, yeah, we're treated to this, like, computer screen, TV screen. So, of course, this would have been, like, after first watching it, you know, this time it would have started. And so the universe got reboot, I guess. So we're told. All right, so here is kind of the uh second uh main ending i guess that you'd get um it's a little bit of shorter path to get to it but you can uh this one also leads to a reboot of the universe so this is like a better hidden but also very still like i mean as long as you play out through all possible paths and keep track of where you've been 
you know, you'll get you'll get the ending right, which you know not all people do, but um, that's what we're going to do is go explore all possible routes. Um, so this is another kind of uh, ending. You don't have to go quite as far, I don't think, if I remember correctly. It's like if you choose the right path, it's kind of like a shorter ending. And it ends a little bit differently than um, the first one we saw. Looking for this? Oh, Captain, I can't say I'm surprised. You always were stubborn. But that's your so this lady's name is Doreen. You always did have a choice. And uh, she's one of the people on the ship. You might want to at least understand one of the, the passengers waiting to go to a new colony. Do you even know who you are? See, and this ending simultaneously happens as like the first before? ending. So it's weird. Or is this just history repeating itself? Because it seems like we're in like a similar. I don't know, existence outside of the known universe. With the same, you know, blackness and then the blue, blue light, blue hue. So it seems like we're in the same area as that first ending. Um, except those events still happened even without us doing all the same exact things. And then I think this is mostly the same. Yeah, this is all mostly the same, this ending. It's all the same stuff. And then the universe stands by. And we're ready for part two. So that was the kind of second, like, middle ending, I guess. Not really middle ending, but... Think of the colonists. Yeah. I'm the so this is kind of a uh, this is like a third ending, and it's you know lesser known. It's kind of an outlier. It doesn't take you to which you guys will see. Um, to the paradox or boot screen. So. I mean, like I said before, all these en endings are canon and not canon at the same time. Because the they all happen because of multiverse, end. right? So, like, this ending does happen, but doesn't lead to a reboot of the universe. Just take a deep breath. Which. And relax. I mean, it kind of. Kind of messes it up, right? Because it kind of leaves it open. So, what happens in the end of this universe then? If uh, we don't have to reboot or we don't reboot it, we're just still perpetually trapped in the wormhole. And then instead of sitting here for 10 minutes in uh, the cryopod, I can ensure you guys that nothing happens throughout this entire time till the very end. I did sit through the like, whatever it is, if this, if we hop in the pod at about 40 seconds, there's like nothing going on for nine minutes. Um, yet pretty frosty, and then eventually we hear muted hammering, but it's footsteps basically, even though YouTube says muted hammering, um, and then we get this little interaction. Oh, mummy. Sorry, friend. I don't have time for your ancient curses. Doesn't matter how handsome and or beautiful you used to be. <laughs> so, yeah, that and then that's that's where this one ends. We just you know, stay in the cryopod, greeted by whoever, some adventurer, just also played by Mark. But I don't really think they're any specific character. Um... Because he doesn't address us as captain anyway, so it's not the the mark that was our, uh, he's the head engineer in this story. 
who's help helps us along. Um so yeah, so this is where this one ends. Doesn't end with a reboot screen, so I don't know, it kinda just seems like a dead dead end. Just kinda like a joke ending. But uh who knows, right? Maybe this will seemingly have more importance when we uh either this has more importance that we'll see in part two or if you guys have seen part one which i encourage you to do and like look through all the parts there is a scene early on in part one that tells like that's uh kind of spooky and kind of uh a spooky scene or whatever and so anyways there's a bunch of like signs um, up around our cryopod. Of course, this is a different cryopod, but maybe it just relates to the same thing about like not waking the captain and don't let him out and all that kind of stuff, basically. So maybe like that's connected to this ending where like if we get fro or if we freeze ourselves and not keep hopping into the wormhole and doing anything, then everything will work itself out, out or there will be no more harm caused. So that's why those signs were put up, as in, like, don't wake the captain, otherwise uh, shit's going to happen, basically. Um, so that's it for the three endings of part one, but don't leave us with much. I'm guess like, you know, out of all of them, the, re the two reboot endings are most likely the ones that you were supposed to get, because In Space Part 2 starts up with the reboot being complete. So I don't really know, again, what this ending will pertain to. But maybe it's just a nice little throwaway gag. Just to, just that's where this route ends. It doesn't end with a reboot. Um, so finally, I just wanted to touch on this. The Game Theorist video um, about In Space with Mark Player. Um, he makes some pretty cool connections in here. Um, relating back to who killed Markiplier and stuff like that, like with the Doreen character, you know, um, oh, we got mad. Cool. Your customers cool, are your Google. neighbors. You might provide them Love with that. a gift for their loved one. Just trying a to scroll through the video. Lead from who killed. Yeah. So he's like drawing parallels between the characters, right? Um, between the different, uh, projects mark has completed and i mean some of the connections i do find are like cool and they're you know fun and whatever except uh like the he makes the connection that these guys because this is the same actor right um so their names are similar and such so they're kind of connected in that way um but then he makes it so that uh doreen who we saw in this ending here. Holy People God. with ADHD save 10 hours Good job, ads. studying. Good job, Google Ads. But no, by all means. History. He connects that Celine from Who Killed Markiplier is actually this old woman now, this Doreen chick. Um, which, I mean, could possibly be. I haven't watched all of Space in Space Part 2 yet, so who knows. Um, thought like this was at like a you know, all his connections are, like, good. There's some there's some evidence to support him. Um, I can't remember exactly at what point he says it, but he's, like, he talks about the ending of In Space Part 1 and how all the endings really, uh, all the endings lead to a reboot of the universe, and then, of course, there's this ending that it doesn't. I'm just, like, uh, selective, selective research. You know? got you pick and choose uh what you can uh what uh what supports your theory right you got got pick and choose and weed through and what information supports it and then kind of just leave whatever information doesn't support it to the side right but uh i digress anyways then his connection uh just with uh, the characters here from Who Killed uh, Markiplier. He's got just with saying how it's going to play out in uh, So 
So basically what uh, he theorized, sorry, I got distracted there for a second, is that because people were wondering like where the other char like where the characters were, especially like Dark Plier is a fan favorite. Um, because we did end up seeing uh Wilford Wharfstash, one of Mark's characters, in part one. Um, not for very long. Um so he just uh, kind of shoot us away. Um basically because he's like, Oh, you've come for like uh Easter egg or I think he said Easter egg. Um, well shoo, you can't uh can't access this now or whatever is basically his one Wilford Wharfstash scene in part one. So then Mark theorize or Matt Pat, the game theorist, it theorizes that uh, all these characters are going to re-show up, and then he theorizes that Mark Applier, our engineer in this uh, you know production, is uh, which gets really confusing, is a character named Actor Mark, who was the Mark that was killed and who killed Mark Applier. Who then took over a dude named Damien, took over his body. Um, so that's who he's saying is this guy now is actor Mark in another person's controlling another person's bar body. And then, if you don't know the whole story behind it all or the f uh, background of the characters, then that Damien guy um, took over. Um, I guess what would be our bodies in who killed Mark, our body in who killed Mark Plyer, um, takes over us, and then that's who ends up becoming Dark Applier. And so then that's who Mark theorizes is going to be us again in this production. Is that us playing it is a Dark Applier, like that's why he hasn't shown up yet. And this uh, actor Mark in Damien's body is Mark Plyer, who is our head engineer. I don't fully agree um, with this theory. I mean, it's a nice thought and theory. And he even goes on to support that, except this one. He says, like, there's frame-perfect references to each of these original characters, but I haven't seen... Like, we just watched this. This is, like, the glitches at the end. Um, Like, this frame perfect uh, glitch where it shows them like in this uh get up right or in their who killed the uh, outfit costume and then they show this picture with like tyler and he's not in a butler costume and i thought that was like really weird and then we just watched it and he doesn't ever glitch into like the butler tie costume so don't know what happened there but uh, that's kind of what he uses to support it that uh as we play through, it'll become known that we are Dark Applier and that uh, Mark Applier in this production is Actor Mark. Which again, I don't fully agree with. I mean, it could possibly be. I haven't seen In Space Part 2 yet, so who knows. I just think it kind of... I just think Mark Applier is like his own character. Like same within a heist, Mark Applier is another character of Mark's that's in these things that's uh like just uh, another character like as Dark Plier or Wilford Wharfstash or Damien or whatever so I think Mark Plier is just actually Mark Plier and that us is just actually us because I mean we've already done like the camera turn to reveal that we are Dark Plier I mean that was done to set up Dark Applier and Who Killed. So like to do that kind of reveal again. I just think would kind of fall flat. Because I mean Mark already did it. And so like for us to all of a sudden be Dark Applier again. It's like well we were Dark Applier once. So what's the point right. Um, But yeah that's kind of where we're at. I mean it's a great video. You should also check it out. Especially like if you need to brush up on all your Mark Applier lore. Uh, and all your Markiplier information. I do recommend to go check this out as well. Because, I mean, it is good. Good video. A yeah, fun video. Uh, still. Even if I don't agree with the ending outcome. Or the ending theory that he proposed. But it was still interesting to watch. And still good to catch up on the info. So, with that being said, guys. 
it is 30 minutes. So that is time today. We spent all the time talking and explaining the endings of part one and reviewing part one endings, not all of part one. And then a little side side uh, review or discussion on game theory. So I guess with that being said, we will start in space with Mark Fire part two tomorrow or next video anyways. So guys, sorry, but that'll do it for today. I talked way too long. Um, if you want to help out the channel, you can hit friggin' smack that subscribe button as it really helps out the channel. Jeez, I said that. I'm saying my thing wrong. Outro. Um, really helps out the channel, and I do really appreciate it. And as we say up in Canada, peace out.